As friends do, one of mine sent me this picture and said, can you make something to replace this? He said the company's out of business who did it. This is the snorkel on his Toyota pickup truck. It's I think 15 years old and they don't make the replacement part. So he said, what can you do for me? And so I got this and if you look, I mean, yeah, this is all broken apart right here. And yeah, there's big chunks missing here and here. Uh, but the real problem is that he took it off the truck and he sent it to me in two pieces. You can see it's broken all the way. Even that piece is broken. Um, he sent it to me in two pieces. And yeah, I mean, these measurements have to be kind of exact between the, the mounting points. Um, and so I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know what to do with this. Uh, I've got several ideas for fixing it. One of them is to weld up a square steel frame, put some ears on it for these screw mounts and then run heavy duty fishing line across here, drill holes in the frame and then run heavy duty fishing line across there so that, yeah, when it does break, you just replace the fishing line. It's no big deal. Uh, you know, that kind of line they use in, uh, like yard, yard cutter stuff. Um, so yeah, the really big stuff and yeah, you just put it through there, tie a knot in the back of it and the metal frame would never wear out. So it would be good for another 15, 20, 30, probably outlast the truck by 15, 20 or 30 years. Uh, so that, those are some ideas. Uh, but the problem is when he gave it to me, it's in pieces. And how do you do exact measurements? Um, when things are in pieces. Well, that's, that's the point of today's video. I thought I would show you some of my forensic tricks on how to restore something like this so you can actually get good measurements out of it. And yeah, uh, I've already come up with my solution. It's within 0.4 millimeters of the real thing. So anyway, uh, enough talking. Let me put my solution in front of you and uh, let you see what you think about it. What I did was I got this uh, gridded background, which is very important for what I'm doing, or it makes the job a whole lot easier because I don't have to eyeball stuff so much, is I took this part and I've already done this so I know it works, is I uh, lined it up. So what was uh, happening is you can see where these metal pieces are. Those were completely gone. And this part right here, this is where it was cracked. So the first thing I did is I lined it up on this sheet. I got out some super glue and I glued this one that was still remaining that was intact or somewhat intact. And yeah, let the super glue dry. And as soon as the super glue was dry, again, I checked to make sure it's still uh, squared up on the paper. And then I took uh, this is just regular coat hanger wire. Uh, I laid it on there and took the soldering gun and very carefully just set it down on there and melted it into the plastic. And of course you don't want to shift the, the uh, thing you're trying to, uh, to uh, preserve. And then I just added another piece and another piece. And then finally I went back and did the, the one that was, uh, that was uh, originally just cracked. But I mean, you can see from this side, maybe, yeah. So here's where it was cracked right there. And then these pieces were missing. You can see that's pretty obvious. Uh, and then of course this whole corner is missing. But from this, I was able to get this measurement across here. And then I was able to, and this is the most critical measurement, is measure the inside from, it's hard to see, but from this ear, inside this ear here, to inside this ear here. And yeah, and then once I had that, uh, then the game became pretty easy. It was just uh, setting something up in this basic shape with rounded corners and uh, uh, going to it. Uh, I chose to 3D print it again. I think if I had to do it again, I'd, I might just go with the steel and the, uh, the uh, what we call it, the heavy duty uh, fishing line because that is a solution that when it breaks, you know, it can be uh, user repaired pretty easily. But anyway, this, uh, this kind of saved me do, being able to restore this to some kind of a original shape and size, and then being able to use my calipers to take uh, good measurements across there. 
Okay, that was it. Just a little uh, trick in case you ever need to deal with something like this. Hope you found that useful and interesting in your home restoration or truck restoration projects.